welcome back to our channel. I'm Maria and this is Du. And on this episode, we're going to tell you guys how we met. So I went to Lisbon because I had a job, a modeling job. I had to shoot a commercial and I went for a week. The shooting was a worldwide campaign. Then I arrived there and my girlfriend in the commercial was this lady over here. was in Lisbon, I was just going to shoot a commercial <laughs> and this guy right here was my boyfriend and he arrived, he started to speak English, like pretty good English <laughs> and suddenly he's speaking perfectly Spanish and I was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> and then he told me, oh, I was born in Barcelona and I was like, ah. Oh. Now I get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so when you shoot a commercial, it involves a lot of hours and then you're waiting a lot of time. <laughs> so sometimes you talk to your partner, then you shoot for, I don't know, 30 seconds or <laughs> for uh, about an hour. <laughs> Our shots were pretty short and then we had a lot of waiting time so we spoke a lot and, and yeah, we got along. And here is our first selfie while shooting the commercial. Well, the shooting went really well. It was video and photo shooting. Here's our commercial. I have a vision correction number, but I'm more than a number. When I'm not sharing ideas with my colleagues, I'm defending my kingdom. My SLR lenses offer more than vision correction with three innovative technologies for my ultimate in vision, clarity, and protection together in a single lens. So I can do more of what I love. So while we were shooting, when I met him, one of the things that really made me think that he was special in some way <laughs> was that we are all like having lunch. We get our food, he's sitting next to me and the table was bigger. And a few minutes later, all the table was, was full. And we had another guy that was shooting with us. The guy was Portuguese. And he couldn't speak English as well, or Spanish. So he was not easy to communicate with him if you're not Portuguese. He sat in another table and no one else sat with him. And do get up and he sitting right next to him, talking with him. And I just thought like, well, first of all, I, I felt bad. Because I, I thought about going there too, but I was like comfortable and I was talking with people that I already knew. And he just he got up and sat there. And I don't know, it's just I was admired because I wouldn't expect like that he had as hard as this and stuff. Yeah, I did that because of her. <laughs> <laughs> so that she could see my romantic gesture. <laughs> my that, kind gesture. Is that true? Yeah, and the thing that attracted me most from Maria that week was that she was like looking at her phone at the news and she was like pretty concerned about what happened in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. the, the catastrophe happened. There were like a lot of people hurting and she was really worried about that, you know. And it's like, wow, <laughs> that's kind of deep, you know. I really like that from her and of course we're now and I can see that she's really caring. That's a pretty powerful characteristic from her. And yeah, I felt for her <laughs> right away. And then at the end of the week, I had to get back to Spain, to Barcelona, to my city. I was really sad. And yeah, I, I texted her back like when I was in the plane. And I, I told her it was really nice to meeting her. And Hopefully, I could see her again in a Kendrick Lamar <laughs> concert. <laughs> so, yeah, we continued t texting and FaceTiming, and then we met in Madrid. Right? Because it's like the... Halfway. <laughs> yeah, it's the middle point between Lisbon and Barcelona. During a month texting, we, we had our first real date <laughs> in Madrid our lifestyle, what we like to do, our education, uh, everything was really similar and we get along really well. We couldn't believe that I was 
happened. Funny story is that when we met in Madrid, I booked the hotel and <laughs> I booked the hotel 40 minutes away from downtown Madrid. <laughs> when I thought I was booking the hotel in downtown because the name of the street was the same as a street outside the city in Madrid. So we had to take a train every day for five days, like 40 minutes to go downtown. And we didn't care. Like, we were so happy, of course. Yeah. <laughs> and that could possibly go wrong or really good because, I mean, we met for a week. We were texting and FaceTiming and stuff, but I mean, we were like living together for five days. It, it went perfectly, so we got lucky. Yeah, <laughs> they did the Casemiria. <laughs> yeah. Usually when I, when I go travel, I, I prepare like what I would like to see, what I would like to go, stuff like that. But I don't know, he was from Spain. I already have been in Madrid several times since I was a child. So I didn't do anything, he did, didn't do either, and we just walked. I never do that. <laughs> <laughs> and we just walked and walked, like, almost 20 kilometers, two, yeah, 20 per kilometers day. a day. And randomly, because we walked so much, eventually I discovered everything in the city. The only thing that I really wanted to go was to Prado Museum. It was funny because like our time looking at the paintings was was the same. No, no problems at all. Right now, me. And when I come back to Portugal, I was still happy. I don't know. I felt like I, I finally found it for me. The only bad thing about her is that she didn't like spicy <laughs> at that time. Now she does. Oh. <laughs> That's why we're living together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. So I always thought that I wouldn't move in with a girlfriend like until I was like older, but everything was super fast and I was so sure about that. Yeah, of course, and, and we live in different countries. We had a distant relationship. I miss you, miss you, miss you, miss you. One hour and a half by plane. Yeah, we took like a lot of flights, <laughs> right? Didn't see each other for two weeks. I miss you! Lot, 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 lot. Finally, she had moved in here to see, Barcelona. So the timing that I met him was really important to me because I was finished my, my master's. Thought like, I need to search for a job or continue working as a model in can be in Portugal, it can be in Barcelona, and he already had work here. So I, I see it that was easier for us if I, if I just move here because I needed to start my life wherever it was. So the timing <laughs> was perfect. If you guys have any questions, make sure to comment in the comment section and we'll, we'll do a Q&A video in the future if you like. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was the story about how we met. And a Merry Christmas to everyone. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and stay tuned because we'll be back pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs>